Julia Bassiana, Il Gabalis' mother, and Julia Mesa, his grandmother, held hereditary rights to priesthood of the sun god Il Gabal. One emperor, Caracalla, was murdered in 217 AD. 14 year old Elagabalus came to power. He ruled for four years. He developed a high, intense interest in worshipping the sun god Elagabal, who was a black meteorite. In order to show that he worshipped Ilgabal, he would have thousands of cattle sacrificed every single day. In 217 AD, when Caracalla was murdered, he was ambushed by a group of soldiers and beaten and stabbed to death. He became the high priest of the cult and had his name changed to Elagabalus. Elagabalus believed he was the god embodied. He began to wear women's clothes and makeup and went to high extremes to become a woman. He married a freedman called Herocles and called him his husband. He met Herocles at a bar. In 220 AD, he forced a Vestal Virgin to marry him. When Elagabalus' grandmother, Julia Mesa, displayed her wealth to the Third Legion at Rafana, Elagabalus became emperor on May 16, 218 AD. The commander of the legion declared him emperor. In order to strengthen his legitimacy of emperor, Elagabalus assumed Caracalla's names, Marcus Aurelius Atoninus. When Ilgabalus went to Rome, he brought Ilgabal, his meteorite, with him and installed him in a temple on the Palatine. On the 11th of March, 222 AD, people have had enough of Ilgabalus. They hunted him down in a toilet where he had been hiding and stabbed him to death. Ilgabalus died at the age of 18.